the ark of the Lord remained in the house of Obed-Edom the Gittite three months, and the Lord blessed Obed-Edom and all his household. Wow! The whole house got blessed in three months. Now, I'll just say this. Josephus, the Jewish historian, there's a famous Jewish historian called Josephus. He lived during the time of the Romans. And he's not a, he's not a Christian, but he wrote uh, about the Jewish history. Josephus wrote that Obed-Edom was a very poor man when the ark came to his house. That's why his house was at the site, not in Jerusalem. And David was afraid, so David looked at the nearest house that was there, and it was Obed-Edom. He was a bad Edom, you know, and his house was there, and, and, and David says, put it there, and obed Edom says, okay, bring it to the center place of my house, please. Yes, in front of my field here. That's right, in front of my house. All right? And he was very poor, according to Josephus. All right? But I believe this blessing is not the unseen blessing like, oh, I have more peace. <laughs> it was something that people can see because the next verse says, now it was told King David, saying, the Lord has blessed the house of Obed-Edom and all that belongs to him because of the ark of God. It was very evident. It was visible. It was clear for all to see. How many want this in your family, in your life? How many want in your workplace? People say, there's something on this guy. There's something on this girl. The world will call it X factor. All right, we call it the, hey, the grace factor. Amen. The favor factor. By the way, the word charisma, charismatic, somebody is charismatic, come from the word charis, which is grace in Greek. It was used in ancient times to describe believers. Yeah, you have a lady 50 plus, and her face shines, and for, for a while you forget she's 50 plus. God, God's favor on people makes them ageless. Turn to your neighbor again. That's hope for you, bro. That's hope for you, sister. So, folks, that's what you must go for the favor of God. Amen. It was on Obed-Edom and on his house. Amen. All right? That, that neighbor's dog stopped barking <laughs> that night. His children scored high, high, high and good results in the synagogue schools. <laughs> Even the rabbis are impressed. His crops became bumper crops and produced harvest before its time. In three months, he saw all the things around his family blessed. Not only he blessed, but his whole household. So much so that that message was brought back to David. All right? What was David doing during, during these three months? He fought another battle with the Philistines, and at the same time, he was studying his Bible. <laughs> and he realized he did it wrong. But at the same time, when he heard the news, God is blessing Obad Edom, he felt a pang of jealousy. <laughs> all right? Instead of just one family enjoying all right, all these blessings, I'm going to bring the ark into the city of David so that David will be blessed. And his entire city, not only that, in the center of Israel, Jerusalem, the entire nation will be blessed. So David and his men went down to Obed-Edom. How sad Obed-Edom was. <laughs> when he heard the knock on the door, Obed! He said, I'm sorry. I'm sleeping in my bed. Obed, get out from your bed. King David calls. So he came out. David says, Ark, please. <laughs> then the Bible tells us, all right, later on, that, they, that Obed Edom became a doorkeeper of the Ark. In other words, he told his family, if the Ark is leaving, we're all going. Yep. All right, so they all followed the Ark, and he became a doorkeeper of the Ark in the city of David.